Hey guys, this is Brett with Brooklyn Shooters here. Uh, today we're going to show you how to load a Leica MP, although this will work for any uh, M4 and later camera that has a rapid load system. Uh, you can get these for the M2 and the M3, but it's usually an add-on that you have to do. So this is relevant for M4, M5, M6, M7, MP, and MA. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So the camera's right here. Now uh, this is the Chrome MP. Uh, on the bottom here, uh, you've got the bottom plate, which is a totally separate part from the rest of the camera. To take it off, you lift this and you rotate it to undo the uh, bottom plate from the camera. You'll notice that there's a little hook here on the side of the bottom plate, and that actually corresponds to a little uh, latch uh, bump right here on the camera. When you put the bottom plate back on, that's important to know so that you put it on correctly. Um, Inside the camera right here, there's actually a nice little uh, label as to how to load it. It's pretty simple, and once you kind of learn how to do this, you can do it pretty quickly. I'll show you kind of slow right now, just so you kind of learn how to do it. Uh, here you got our load of film, uh, a roll of film. What you do is this little uh, window on the back kind of lifts up all the way, so you can kind of see the shutter window right here. You can see all the internals of the camera. Now what you got to do is you take your roll of film right here and I usually just almost grab it by the film itself and I insert it into the load side of the camera and still holding the film I stretch it across once it's about in there halfway so it's sticking out a little bit but not really too much it's about in there halfway. This, be, this is much easier than dropping the film all the way into the camera because what can happen is then you kind of have to search for it inside of here and you kind of have to push on some stuff that you might not want to push on like your shutter window. So it's much easier to have it kind of halfway out and I, again like I said I dropped it in there already so it becomes much more difficult once it's in there. So then once you get that what you want to do is you want the film leader and actually let me go ahead and get this out so that I can show you better. Um, so I've got it about halfway out. You want this film leader right here to extend into this almost like three prong fork thing that's inside the take up spool area of the camera. You want it to go all the way through it. You don't want it to wrap around. You want it to go straight through. And then once you have it in there, you can actually just tap the film, push it in there and make sure that it's all level with the, um, the silver line inside the camera as well. Once you do that, uh, what I typically do is I, I fire off a shot like that and I advance the film to make sure that it's going straight. So then once you do that you can close this back plate and then like I was saying this little hook guide, um, hook guide on the side here corresponds with a little notch on the camera. You, got, you basically just put that in on first and then you push it on and you tighten the latch. So then you're good to go right here. The other thing that uh, you do is once you got the film in there you can bring up the rewind spool right here and you can kind of make sure that the film is taut. So right now I'm feeling it taut and I can go ahead and load it, load it so that it's flush with the camera. And now you know your film is loaded. It's stuck. It's not going to break free. It's going to be, you know, it's going to go through the whole roll without a problem. And right now you'll notice I'm about three frames behind one. So all you do is you basically just take a shot, advance, take a shot, advance, take a shot, advance, and that's so that your first frame is not exposed to any light at all. It's coming out of the spool. So that's how you load a Leica, and right now you're ready to go. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, shoot a Leica in our next video. We can cut that last part off. I'll just... Hey guys, Brett here again with uh, Brooklyn Shooters. So uh, right now, uh, it might look a little weird as to what you're seeing, but uh, this is the viewfinder of a Leica. This is what you see when you look through. Now, depth of field right now is pretty insane. You're only able to actually see the, um, the, the, the hood of the 35 Sumalux that I'm using right here. And this is just to demonstrate, you know, certain lenses might actually block the viewfinder in small ways. Um, that's what this little cutout here is for as well it's so that you can kind of see through the hood but it still blocks out a lot of the light. Now what I'm going to do is I have kind of a macro view inside this viewfinder right now. I'm going to show you what this camera does in terms of how to focus a rangefinder. Um, right now we are seeing the rangefinder patch in the center here. 
I don't know if you can kind of see, it's that little thing right there. Um, it's a lighter patch inside the viewfinder. And now what happens when I focus the lens is the uh, parallax correction happens and also the, the, the rangefinder mechanism of the camera actually adjusts to show you what is in focus. Now this is how you focus a rangefinder camera. Right now we have it on this high point of contrast, which is this windowsill. And if you look right now, this is out of focus. The lines do not match up. You can kind of tell that the uh, picture itself is like a double of itself. Um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in focus and I'm gonna show you. So that would be an in focus shot. That's how you know the camera has focused to its proper point. The pictures line up. You can kind of see here that the reason why this uh, whole uh, frame lines moves when you move the focus lever is parallax correction. Now because you're not looking through the lens itself, you're having to, uh, the camera it's actually auto adjusts to where your frame lines should be because you're not technically looking through the lens, you're looking through a separate viewfinder. So you can kind of see that in action as well. Right now you can see that if I were to focus uh, very far away, the parallax lines move so that I basically have less correction. And if I focus very close, they move all the way over here because that's closer to where the frame lines would actually lie. Now in usage with your eye, you don't notice that much movement at all. In fact, all you really notice is the fact that the image inside the rangefinder patch is either aligned or not aligned. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you here is the um, metering of the Leica. Now this is the standard metering system for most Leica systems. I believe some have um, a little bit different in terms of what uh, different LEDs in terms of what you see inside. I know the M7 will actually show you the shutter speed that you're at with um, the camera in uh, aperture priority mode. But with this MP and also with the M6, what you get is basically these three LEDs. You get one center dot, which shows you that this is the perfect exposure for a center weighted meter. And then if you take the shutter to either side, so if I want to take it over to this direction, I'm actually going down, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going up in shutter speed. So I'm basically going right now, I'm at a 60th. Now this is a 125th and then 250, it just stays the same. So your goal is that you want to get it to the center dot that lets you know that it's, uh, your exposure is correct. The way that the best way to remember this in this, and, and one of the ways that makes a little bit more sense on the Leica digital bodies is that you basically want to turn the arrow to the opposite on the M, on, I'm sorry, on the film, I'm going to start over. On the film bodies like this and the non-TTL versions of the Leica M6 and the MP, you want to turn the shutter dial to the opposite direction that the arrow points to go to the right way. So if I want to uh, get this back into proper exposure, I would actually turn it away from where the arrow is pointing. So I would turn it to the right. Now that puts the, um, the exposure back where it needs to be. And you can kind of see as I go up, it it essentially gets more and more or less exposed. On the left is less exposure, on the right is overexposure. So if right now, if you're seeing an arrow on the right, that means you're overexposed. If you see an arrow or the center dot, you're well exposed. And then if you're on the left, it's basically underexposure. Now on the digital bodies, this is very similar. You have the three LEDs, but it makes a little bit more sense in the sense of the way you turn the dial you can turn it towards the direction of what the arrow is pointing and that takes you to where you want to be. Uh, they changed this with the digital bodies for that reason, I believe, but a lot of people don't like it just because it's, you know, the original cameras were like this, so most people were used to it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to actually take a photo and wind the camera as well as uh, also what to do when you're done shooting a roll and you can rewind it. So in this last segment of the video, I'm actually going to show you how the mechanics of the Leica work. Um, again, this is an MP. Um, so the Leica is based around a very simple system. It's an aperture and shutter based exposure system. So you have two ways to limit or allow more light into the camera to make a proper exposure. Um, the top dial here is your shutter speed. This goes up to a, thousand, a thousandth of a second and it goes down to bulb, uh, but 
right before bulb is one second. So you can do one second exposures that are timed. Uh, you can also press and hold down the shutter for as long as you like with the bulb mode. On the top of the almost all Leica lenses here too, you have a shutter, or I'm sorry, an aperture dial. This goes typically to about f16 on most Leica lenses, f22 on some Voilander lenses and Zeiss lenses. Now, between those two things, that's how you're going to shoot. Um, in this video, we're not going to really go over what those two do in terms of making a proper exposure with a camera, but this is how the mechanics of the Leica work. You have a focus dial, you have a aperture dial, and you also have a shutter dial. Now, between those three things, you can make this camera work. Uh, along with the segment on focusing, you would focus the camera, set your exposure using the meter in the camera or a, a handheld meter, and then when you're ready to actually fire, it's just the shutter dial right here, you click it, and then you're ready to wind to the next frame. And then you're moving on through 36 exposures and you're done. Now, when you get through your 36 exposures, you're going to want to actually take up the film so that it doesn't expose it when you open it up again. Uh, we showed you how to load the camera. Unloading it is actually very easy. There's a little um, dial here with an R next to it. It's called the rewind dial. You will push that down so that it's down like that. And what that does is allow the film to release from the take-up spool so that you can actually use the rewind mechanism and rewind the camera. So basically, once you hit the rewind uh, little knob right here, you can use the rewind and you can take up the film. You'll feel it come off the take-up spool and then you'll have to turn it a couple more times and, and, and then you'll, your film will be rewound. You can then push this back down and it's good to go again. You go through the loading process and you're set. Thanks again for watching this video. Check out our, our, our other videos on our channel and subscribe if you like.